According to NYPD Commissioner Bill Bratton, Cannabis is responsible for the vast majority of drug violence in New York City. I have to scratch my head as we are seeing many states wanting to legalize marijuana and more liberaliz liberalization of policies. Here in New York, uh, the violence we see associated with drugs, the vast majority of it is around the issue of marijuana, which is ironic considering the explosion in the use of heroin now in the city. Regardless of the commissioner's hunch, scientific studies and government data show that cannabis actually decreases violent crime, while alcohol, a legal drug, greatly contributes to aggressive behavior. In fact, according to US and UK federal data, about half of all violent crimes are alcohol-induced. One study concluded that alcohol is clearly the drug with the most evidence to support a direct intoxication violence relationship, while cannabis reduces the likelihood of violence during intoxication. Another study found that after legalizing medical cannabis, US states saw a decline in homicide and assault rates. But despite the science, Bratton disagrees. The violence we see associated with drugs, the vast majority of it is around the issue of marijuana. Morgan Fox of the Marijuana Policy Project called Bratton's claim extremely dubious explaining to Think Progress that prohibition is the root cause of the vast majority of violence associated with marijuana. But this isn't the first time Bratton has claimed that cannabis increases violent crimes. Last year, he blamed New York City's 17% increase in homicides on weed. Gabriel Sayeg of the Drug Policy Alliance criticized the remark, saying it appears that finding marijuana on the scene of a violent crime is enough for Bratton to assert a causal link. Using that rationale, we can make other causal links to violence. For instance, if police find a cell phone at the scene of a violent crime, then certainly the cell phone must cause that crime, he said. Clearly, Bratton still hasn't learned this lesson.